Hi, this is Thomas. Welcome back. We're looking at the topic of binomial expansion. This is our first example. The binomial term is 1 minus x to the power of 1 third. The requirements are 1. Find the binomial expansion up to and including the term in x to the power of 3. And 2. State the range of values of x for which the expansion is valid. I've copied the binomial expansion general term up into the upper right corner of the screen and we have our algorithm for binomial expansion in the upper left corner. So let's begin with step one. Identify n term and x term. The n term is our exponent, that is 1 over 3. The x term is minus x, which I'll expand to minus 1 times x. Step two, substitute in n term and x term. So for our expansion, our binomial term is 1 minus x to the power of 1 third equals. And now we can begin to input our n term and x term. First, 1 plus n times x. This will be n is 1 third times the x term is negative x. The next term in the expansion is n times n minus 1 over 2 factorial. So we have plus in the numerator n is 1 over 3 times n minus 1, 1 over 3 minus 1. In the denominator 2 factorial, and we multiply by x to the power of 2. Now note our x term is negative 1 times x, or negative x to the power of 2. Next term, and we want to keep going, notice that our requirement in this example is up to and including the term in x to the power of 3. So we need one more term, plus the following term has a numerator of n times n minus 1 times n minus 2, 1 over 3, times 1 over 3 minus 1, times 1 over 3 minus 2. In the denominator, 3 factorial multiplied by negative x to the power of 3. Notice that we have also completed step 3. We've gone out to the required final term. On to step 4. Simplify. On the right side of the equation, we have our first term of 1. Our second term is 1 third times negative x, which will be minus 1 third x. And for the other two terms, we'll simplify in two steps. So I'll continue with plus. In the numerator, we have 1 third times negative 2 thirds. That will give us negative 2 over 9. In the denominator, 2 factorial, or 2 times 1, which is 2 multiplying by negative x squared. Negative x times negative x is x squared. And our final term plus in the numerator one third times negative two thirds times negative five thirds. Across those numerators we have one times negative two times negative five which is ten. And across the denominators, 3 times 3 times 3, 27. In the denominator of the main fraction, 3 factorial, 3 times 2 times 1 is 6. And we're multiplying by negative x cubed. Negative x times negative x times negative x is negative x to the power of 3. And now we'll fully simplify first term 1 second term minus 1 over 3x. Third term, notice we have a negative numerator, a positive denominator, so we will have minus negative 2 ninths divided by 2 is negative 2 over 18, which we can simplify to negative 1 over 9 multiplied by x squared. And our final term, we have positives in the numerator and denominator. 
multiplied by negative x to the power of 3. So this term will be minus 10 over 27 divided by 6. Gives a result of 5 over 81 times x to the power of 3. And I'll show in my notation that while I've expanded to the term x to the power of 3, the actual expansion is an infinite series. So we've completed step 4. Now we'll go to step 5, which is requirement number 2. State the range of values of x for which the expansion is valid. Our setup is the absolute value of the x term is less than 1. Our x term is negative x. So the absolute value of negative x can be simplified to the absolute value of x is less than 1. And what this tells us is that x is in the interval negative 1 to 1 exclusive. Negative 1 is less than x is less than 1. Now we've completed both requirements, and this concludes our first example of binomial expansion.